Hello, Marcus Lim here. In this video, I'd like to address a question that some of you have been asking regarding the um, Facebook ad re retargeting script. Um, some of you have been asking, you know, does it really work? Does the pixel uh, really get installed and all that stuff, uh, right? So, in this video, I'll show you a method that you can use to verify that your link is actually working. Okay, so first thing you want to do is to download the script again because I have made some enhancements to it and I'll get to what the enhancement is about. But just, you know, download the zip file again and after you unzip it, um, you get these files and this folder as before. Um, and you just need to re-upload these files and folder but uh, you probably don't need to upload the config.ini.php again because um, um, you, you probably have already specified all these values but in case uh, you want to you know re-upload this file again just make sure that you um, edit these fields so that um, they correspond to your database settings and also your install URL and default URL. And for more of these details, uh, you can watch my video on installation. So I won't get into this anymore. And I'll just go straight to the um, my installation of the script. So log in, and what you notice is that um, I've added a new column called test link, um, and I'll get to why <clears throat> this might be useful to you. But the next thing that I would like you to do is to just head on over to Google and then search for something called the Pixel Pixel Helper. Okay, pixel helper. And the first result that comes up is the Facebook pixel helper. Just click on that. And well, this page has all the instructions that you need, all the details that you need uh, about this particular pixel helper. It's a Chrome extension. Um, and I just quickly step you through how you go about installing it and then using it. So you click on that link, brings you to the Chrome Web Store. Now this is free, um, so all you have to do to install it on your Chrome browser, and yes, I am using Chrome, so you do have to use Chrome uh, for this to work. Uh, just click on plus, and then add Pixel Helper. Yes, add. Okay. So now it's adding to Chrome and then once it's done it will tell you that it's been added and if you want to use this extension you just click on this icon over here on the upper right. Okay. So let's do this now. Um, let's head on over back to my script. Now I've already set up a redirect link and I want you to pay attention to this uh, top right. Uh, corner over here, the Facebook Pixel Helper, and notice what happens when I click on my redirect link. See what happens? It displayed just for a brief moment um, a one uh, to indicate that it detected the pixel successfully, meaning the pixel was actually installed correctly and that Facebook is detecting it and that uh, will allow it to build up your custom audience when people click on your link. Okay. Now, if I that that might have been a bit quick, too quickly for some of you to even notice, and that's the reason why I have this new link to test. So this link to test is, I mean, it's basically the same thing as this link. However, it doesn't redirect. Okay. Um, so if I click on it. It doesn't redirect, right? It says this is a test. 
the real thing it will redirect. But this allows you therefore to click on this to bring up more information about the pixel. So it says the one pixel found and it was loaded successfully and you can even click on view event log to get more details about the pixel. So URL code, so we see that the pixel actually code back to Facebook uh, to let it know uh, about the pixel, uh, where it's located and stuff. Um, and in this case, you can see uh, that it's located, pixel location is this link that uh, we have over here, which is your redirect um, link, okay? Meaning that everything looks like it's working properly, okay? So that's uh, what I really want to show you in this video.